Joining us now to discuss the story is the president of Citizens Against Government Waste, Tom Schatz. Tom, my old friend, welcome to America's Forum. Thank you very much. So, we all hear about wasteful spending involving federal employees, but to have this situation ostensibly involving charity, what are they going to think of next here? <laughs> I mean, th this is diabolical, the way that, that money is siphoned off. Well, it could be one reason why in uh, 2013 a smaller portion of federal employees gave money through the combined federal campaign than in any year in the program's 50-year history. So the scandalous behavior is having, in a sense, an unfortunate impact. Now, I'm sure many of these individuals have looked at the way that they give to charity and said, why am I going to give money uh, to this organization that is clearly not passing it all through directly to the charity that I care about? I'll just give it directly to the charity, which is what they should do in the first place. And you, you take a look at this, Tom, and it seems to be a metaphor for government spending. Oh, there's plenty of money, and so we'll just direct it our way. We've seen it with any number of federal agencies and their extravagant uh, spending on different conventions in Las Vegas and other resort areas, and just the whole attitude of government. Will we ever return to uh, an economy-based, service-oriented government, or has the bureaucracy just, just grown so corrupt that it's impossible to make these kind of changes? It has grown quite large, uh, certainly uh, over the last 20 years, and both parties, both sides of the aisle, uh, Republicans, Democrats, Congress, the executive branch, are all responsible for this. Uh, record debt, large deficits remaining, uh, no real control over how the money is spent. Many members of Congress believe the answer to every problem is to create a new program rather than to make the programs that uh, work uh, get more money and get rid of the ones that don't work. And, yeah, you have to assume, uh, in a sense, that everything that's here is here. You can't just get rid of, for example, all the science, technology, engineering, and math programs. There are 209 of them, uh, in a sense, that everything that's here is here. You can't just get rid of, for example, all the 47 job training programs, uh, not producing much. Uh, so that's what's going on here right now. It is extremely big. We've got to do it one step at a time, consolidate them, and then eventually get rid of them. But when you're talking about something where money is going to charitable institutions, many of which do great work because it's private sector money, they run themselves pretty effectively, but the campaign to get them the money is sending people all over the country to conferences and getting extra days and massages and movies. Yeah. It's outrageous. In the private sector, no one would tolerate this kind of behavior. Those people would be fired or have to at least pay back the money that they wasted. Well, the CFC defended themselves by saying, well, it's not taxpayer money. In a way, it's worse. It's charitable money. You run a nonprofit. What would you suggest? Uh, I wouldn't want to make that comment to our donors. <laughs> hey, it's your money. I can do whatever I want with it. That's pretty much what they're saying. The other argument they make is that these are called loaned executives, technically right. not the employees of the combined federal campaign. These are people that are already getting taxpayer money. Well, they call themselves volunteers, employees. but clearly they're not. They're being paid. Right, they're being paid, exactly. Uh, it's worse than any other kind of quote-unquote volunteer system I've seen, like AmeriCorps or others. This is real money, 110000 plus from any of these executives and they are not doing the work that the taxpayers are paying them to do because they're outside of their regular jobs mm -hmm. and apparently not terribly motivated to help charitable organizations. And Tom Schatz, we'll have to leave it right there. It's a shameful tale. We appreciate your perspective on this. We hope you'll come back and join us again real soon on America's Forum. So what about this waste actually taking from a charitable organization? We'd love to have your comments. Why don't you tweet us at Newsmax TV?